Good morning to CMC Espresso. Oil prices jumped yesterday after the news agency Reuters published the headline under which there could be renewed OPEC conversations about freezing global oil production at current levels. As a viewer of this uh, CMC Espresso video, you already knew of this possibility before it was affecting the price. As I mentioned, Iran will have finally returned to its pre-sanctioned oil output levels in June, so this month, and so they will be very willing, theoretically at least, I thought, to talk about joining any effort to freeze production. The OPEC news will be out uh, today on around midday, so there is no specific time. Sometimes it's uh, a little earlier, sometimes it's a little later. Um, but it will be around noon, so today oil traders praise for any spikes in volatility, please. Spikes in volatility also have been witnessed on the Shanghai Stock Exchange, where there has been a trader drop in a large sell order, causing the Shanghai Composite to drop by 10%. That was Tuesday on Wednesday. Trading was halted after this and quickly resumed. A similar flash crash occurred just weeks ago in Hong Kong, uh, where there has also been light trading volume after and uh, there was uh, a large uh, selling order pushing prices down meaningfully. The reason for this is Beijing. They reined in to fight speculators trying, to, uh, as trying their luck on stock trading. Uh, now everybody is scared to trade stocks in China, so volumes have dropped accordingly. So even relative model, uh, relatively moderate order sizes are able to cause sudden volatility spikes in China. While occupied with trying to prevent future flash crash from happening, again the government in Beijing has been more active recently in trying to calm Yuan trading. Beijing apparently isn't very happy about the Federal Reserve preparing for a summer rate hike which could increase the value of the US dollar and by this also push up the value of the yuan or renminbi as it is called. What China could every time easily do is to go full independent and to just drop the dollar peg of the yuan but then there would be a massive panic and outflows of billions of dollars out of or billions of yuan, you might say, out of China. This could, could cause mass bankruptcies in the Chinese banking sector, so dropping the dollar pack is no real alternative. So Beijing must live with the fact that a rising dollar also means a rising yuan, even though this is hurting Chinese exports. So traders, do not forget about China risk, even though everybody is watching the upcoming Brexit vote now. BlackRock. The big investment fund, partial hedge fund, meanwhile, meanwhile sees no golden imminent future for European and US stocks, whatever the outcome of the Brexit referendum might be. They downgraded US and Euro stocks to neutral. The upcoming summer rate hike by the Fed would make stocks which are already not cheap anymore um, unattractive. JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs had been saying the same thing before.